Rodney. Todd, how are you? Good, man. Good seeing you. Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Oh, no, no problem. How's life? Life is good. Really good. That's good to hear. So what's going on? What's happening? Well, I got on one of those auction sites and yep. I found a really nice stainless steel tank. Okay. It's, it's, it's in great shape. I don't even know if it's been used. It's got a great price on it, but I don't know the volume. Okay. I kind of bought it, you know, I bought it online, so, right. but, but it's on the floor and I got some measurements and stuff. So I was hoping you could help me figure out the volume of that tank. All right. Well, that's why I'm here, right? Oh, yeah. Give me uh, a hand. Yep. Absolutely. So just a couple of quick questions on the, the measurements of the tank. So sure. I, I need all of this in inches. That, sure. that helps me out. Okay. I got it all written down here. Okay. So great. Pull this up. Okay. So the first question would be, um, what is the diameter of the top of the tank? What, what diameter do you have on the inside of the tank? 45.2 inches 45 is the diameter. Okay. And then... I came up with the radius at 22.6, is that right? That's very good. Okay, Thank good, you. I got one right. Yeah, you did. Now it's all up to you. Okay, so now, <laughs> um, from the bottom of the cone, mm -hmm. are you gonna have a level transmitter on this tank? Yes. Okay, so from the bottom of the cone to the top of the tank, what's the overall height? Uh, that is 72 inches. 72 inches. Yeah, so you're talking okay. about total tank Total tank Cone height. and cylinder yeah. together. 72 okay, so inches. 72. Yep, got that. All right, so now let's, uh, let's just focus in on the rectangular portion of the tank, okay. okay? So from the top of the cone to the top of the tank, what are we looking at? Top of the cone to the top of the tank, that's 54. So you're talking a straight wall cylinder. Right, 54 okay. inches. 54, yep. 54 inches, correct? Correct. All yep. right, okay, so now from the bottom of the cone to the top of the cone, what's that in inches? That is 18. 18 inches, all yep. right. Okay, and uh, set point uh, that you'll plan to run at is going to be nominal 50%. For my bottling line, yeah, yeah. I want to use it as a surge tank, so right. I need to have some movement in there. Yeah. So I was thinking 50. Is that, 50. Is that the right number? 50 is good. Okay. All okay. Right, good. Okay, well, let me crunch these numbers and let me get back to you on the volume. Do you need anything else from me? Not at this point. You've given me what I need. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for coming All in. All right, you bet. Hey, Hi, Rodney. Todd. Good to see you again. <laughs> Good. Man, All that right. Was, that was fast. Well, <laughs> tried, please. Awesome. All right. So I've got the numbers for you. Awesome. All right. So Fire as far away. as uh, cubic inches, it's mm -hmm. 96,276 cubic inches. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? Yeah. Or ask, I should say. Could you give me that in cubic feet? Also, gallons and ounces. Can you break it down yeah, that way for me? Yeah, I can me? do that. Okay, great, because we're that. running everything here by ounces, and I forgot to tell you that. Okay. So, you know, the bottling line, everything's set up that way. So All right, very is good. that a problem? Not a problem. Okay, great. Thanks again. You man. bet. Take care. Uh -huh. Given the additional information that Todd requested, I've converted the volume of the surge tank into cubic feet. This equals 55.72 cubic feet. In addition, there are 416.79 gallons, which converts to 53,349.12 ounces. I had an additional conversation with Todd on the actual process coming from the seller when he's going to be pushing product with water and ending that run of product. And the way that works is he'll push the product with water to the surge tank, filling the surge tank to 50% level, and then stop the push. Now we have a surge tank full of 50% of usable product. What Todd is asking for in addition is how many bottles are left of usable product that he can send to the filler that's filling at a rate of 600 bottles per minute. How many complete 12 ounce bottles can be filled in this batch? Calculation shows us it's 2,222 12 ounce bottles. The filler can process 600 bottles per minute. What is the rate in gallons per minute that soda is being drawn from the surge tank? We've calculated 56.25 gallons per minute. How long will the filler need to operate in order to complete a batch size of 208.4 gallons using 12 ounce bottles at 600 bottles per minute? We've calculated 3.7 minutes. Now that we have all of the information for Todd, I'm going to put together a simulation using software packages that I utilize in my job, sit Todd down, walk him through it, make sure he understands how everything balances out. 